Okay, what we're going to talk about today is what to do if you fear being controlled and subjugated by a man. The reason that I'm talking about this today is I had a, a brief exchange with a woman um, on Facebook where, and this is very common, where there's misunderstandings of what a dominant man is, of what I'm referring to when I talk about a dominant man, a masculine man, a man who wants to fully lead a woman, take care of a woman, set boundaries for a woman, be fully in that role. Because what I describe, whoops, I still got my Facebook on, I gotta disable that. What I describe is what every woman needs, whether she's aware of it or not. And there's a lot of women who are not aware of it. It's what her instincts are telling her she needs. And it's what allows her to feel so good in a relationship when a man is truly leading and taking care of her. The problem is, is that so many women have very unhealthy imprintings of what leadership is from a man, right? So, and, and this can range, but I'm going to be talking specifically today about a woman who had a father who is controlling and basically subjugated her. Critical, uh, domineering, often angry, doesn't allow space for her feelings and to express her needs. And, uh, and, and basically forcing her into being small, playing small, um, not being able to fully open up and, and communicate what she needs and feels, right? And a lot of women have grown up with that, that kind of father. To one extent or another, right? There's the extreme, but then there's also the less extreme. And so if a woman grows up with that kind of, call it leadership, and, and there's a lot of men, there's a lot of fathers that are that like really strict domineering type of man. If a, if a, a little girl grows up with that kind of father, well, she's, I mean, there's different ways that she can respond to it. But there's going to end up being a lot of women who end up having a ton of resistance to being led, right? And then even when they hear the, the, the kind of word or terminology like a man who's leading, who's taking charge, who's, uh, who's telling her what to do, right, that, that she's submitting to, all that kind of stuff, that's going to bring up uh, fear and maybe anger and other kind of triggers for her. There'll be a lot of resistance. There'll be a lot of resistance because she experienced what she thinks that is, right? Like <laughs> that that masculine leader, she experienced what she thinks that dynamic is and it sucked. It sucked really bad. It was very painful. It was very unpleasant to go through that childhood experience being subjugated, right? being controlled. And not only that, but a woman may have either also experienced or experienced instead a relationship with a man who is like that, who is domineering, who is controlling, who is making her smaller, who is putting her in a box, who is energetically taking from her in some kind of way. And so if that's all she knows about, you know, masculine leadership we'll call it masculine leadership very loose terminology then yeah that's gonna she, she's gonna have some some big time resistance to that and fears around that and that resistance and fear is going to ensure that she never actually gets a healthy masculine man right for a woman to get a really healthy masculine man now and just to be clear when i'm talking about that i'm talking about a man who leads her, tells her what to do, yes, uh, tells her when she's doing something appropriate, inappropriate, that kind of stuff, setting boundaries, um, correcting her communication, all that stuff, but with love, with tons of love and with being fully welcome and opening to uh, to her feelings, to her needs, to the problems she's experiencing, um, you know, helping her, giving her a full voice in the relationship because she is an equal. Just it's an equal in a different in a different way, in a different role. If she if she's not open to that, 
if she's not open to that experience, if her instincts aren't activated in that way, where it's like, oh, yeah, that, that would feel good, right? And she's not going to get it. She's not going to get it. And, and it's coming from, you know, because she's afraid of being controlled, being subjugated, um, having another domineering man experience. And so what, what is she going to get instead? Well, that can range. There can be a range of things that she does experience. But oftentimes what she will experience is she will attract into her life a weak man, a, an emasculated man, a feminine man a man with weaker boundaries, a man who can be controlled, a man who doesn't step up and, well, either he doesn't step up and do what he needs to do, or he steps up, but he's actually just complying to her energy, just submitting to her energy, trying to be the good, the good boy. Um, so it sort of looks polarized, but actually, woman's not going to be attracted because she can feel that she actually is the one that has the control. It's not going to feel good for her. So that's the kind of dynamic that she's likely to get into. And uh, yeah, she's not going to be happy. And then she's going to waste years of her life trying to figure out why things aren't working, maybe go through a divorce or two. And the reason is, is because she's not fully in touch with her deep deep desire and need her instinct to be led fully by a man, but be led with care, be led with, with love and consideration. That's what every woman needs. Step one is to get fully in touch with that. And by the way, if you're, if, well, this is actually true for, for any kind of woman, but especially a woman who's not like, it's like, oh, this guy is kind of talking some sense, but I don't know, like I'm getting triggered and I, I just am not really sure about this. Um, grab one of my books. Just grab one of my books. Go to relationshipyourdreams.com and, and get one of them. Get, get my new one that I just made, Inspire is Devotion. And the reason I say that is it's a really low investment to start with, but then you can it, it can help you understand what I'm talking about here. This polarity, this polarity work, this dynamic is really deep. Okay. And there's a lot of layers to it and there's a lot of nuance to it. And there's a lot of places, many, many places where a woman is going to experience resistance and triggers and kind of get stuck. Um, and a lot of that is just due to not, not understanding and just not understanding. I want every woman to be able to have this kind of joy in her life. I, I see the kind of shifts that have been experienced and are being experienced by our, by our women students in our academy program, opening themselves to devotion where they, where they, find their feminine voice and communicate their needs and feelings and uh and start experiencing devotion for the first time with men an experience that for many women is foreign it's completely foreign because they've never had it truly with their father where they had that voice and, and they were led with care um no not from a, the, the, the father wasn't neglectful and wasn't domineering and wasn't a total pushover, right? A, a man who's actually in charge, but he's, he's using his leadership, his power out of care, with care for his woman and for his children as well. That's what I want every woman to experience. And you can experience it. You can experience that. But you can only experience it by being courageous enough to move through your resistance, by learning, by peeling back these layers, by getting informed, by reading, um, and by making these shifts, not just reading and doing nothing with it, but actually making those shifts. I want to create a world where every single woman is being cherished by a man. How great would that be? How fantastic would that be if you were being truly cherished? Do you even know what that means to be true? Like, do you know what it feels like to be truly taken care of by a powerful man? So powerful, so strong, 
so in his masculine energy, an amazing inner vision that he has, and he's leading you both towards it because he cares for you. So he wants to take care of you. You can have that. You can totally have that. But you got to stop making excuses. You got to move forward. Grab the books if you haven't yet. Join the master class, our next master class, if you haven't done that. And if you're really feeling ready, if you're really feeling that desire, that resonance, then book a call with me so we can talk further about how we can help you make these shifts, how we can support you. I would love to do that for you. You can do all of that by going to relationshipyourdreams.com. Go to the website, grab the books, go to the master class, book a call with me. Let's change your love life forever. That's it for this one.